What is up, YouTube? Jinky Yu Gi Oh! here. My name is Michael, and today we are talking about vampires because vampires are getting more support in the same set that ghost tricks are. This is like Shadow Specters all over again. Hopefully, this set will be better than Shadow Specters. But anyway, let's jump into our first card to talk about, which is Vampire Ghost Ogre. Which is a level 3 dark zombie effect monster, 1500 attack, 0 defense, and its first and second effects of this card's name are hard once per turn to each. If this is normal summon, you can send one vampire, other vampire card, excuse me, from your hand or face up on the field to the graveyard and add a level 4 or higher vampire monster from your deck to your hand. And if you do, you send one level 2 or lower vampire monster from your deck to the graveyard. So, get two in your graveyard for the price of adding one, that's fine. Uh, vampires that want to be in the graveyard. Second effect, during your main phase, quick effect, or during the main phase, excuse me. So anyone. Uh, you can banish this card from your graveyard, pay 500 life points, and immediately after this card or this effect resolves, you normal summon one vampire monster. This solves some of the problems, but not all the problems with the vampire deck. This is a search card. That's great. This is a uh, foolish burial. Also good. Um, vampires need to be in the graveyard to summon themselves out because uh, they have higher monsters So you're gonna want to probably do that. I know you contribute summon for them and some of them have effects based on that But overall, I think this is a much better card and overall pretty good thing to do So next up we have a rank 8 Dark, uh, it's a rank 8 called the undead vampire It's a rank 8 and it's a, uh, with 3,000 attack, 2,800 defense, and two or more level 8 monsters. If you use a monster with a level that is owned by your opponent, uh, it is treated as level 8. You can use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. First effect, neither player can target this card with the effects of monsters that were special summoned from anywhere other than the graveyard. In the second effect states, you can detach one material, send the top four cards of each player's deck to the graveyard. Then, if a monster was sent to the graveyard by this effect, you can special summon one of them to the field. But this card does what vampires do. Um, the new vampire XDs always have that. If you have your opponent's monsters, you can XD someone with it. That's because uh, the vampire deck kind of centers around summoning out these vampires and special summoning cards from your opponent's graveyards and stuff like that. So the second effect is actually pretty good for the deck. Um, I don't know what vampires uh, there are off the top of my head that are level 8 that you can play. But it is a pretty interesting card and it does almost everything the deck wants to. I'm sure you vampire players out there will figure out how to use it. Because I don't know how. Because I've played that deck like a few times and stuff like that. And I don't mind it. Uh, I think it's a fun deck, so I understand uh, people's appeal to it. But we are going to move on to our next card, which is our last card, and possibly least. Who knows? Let's find out. Vampire Fascinator, Link 3, Dark Zombie uh, Link Effect, with 2400 attack, and its links are up, bottom left, and bottom right. It includes two, uh, two more monsters, including a zombie monster. And then it's second, the first and second effects of this card's name can only be used once per turn each. If this is Link Summon, you can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard. You cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except zombie monsters. Also, special summon the targeted monster to your field in face of defense position. Uh, second effect is you can tribute one vampire monster, then target one card your opponent controls and take control of it until the end of the turn. This card is probably the best uh, support card out of these three um getting three monsters out on the field isn't that hard and it does almost everything you want it to uh as for uh so i don't know how you're going to use the xcs like i said i don't know uh what level eight vampires see play but i do know that this is pretty good and so is the uh new level four and i'm looking uh forward to seeing you know this deck possibly be played more uh it's really cool and, uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for this video, though. If it is your birthday today, happy birthday. And if you want to send me any cool deck profiles or replays, 
My email's in the description at jankyugioh or jankyugioh at gmail.com. And of course, and as always, have a wonderful day.